Hey there team. I hope you all are having a great day so far. First of all, I apologize that I'm like really nasally sounding, but I've had really bad allergy problems for the past week. Um, so I apologize for my voice. Here's my cat behind me. She's the co-star today, Bella. She's crazy. So today I wanted to sit down and talk to you guys about social media, Twitter and Instagram. Um, really is my focus in this video because a lot of you guys have asked, um, how do I meet other people? How do I meet people on Instagram and Twitter and Facebook? Um, I'm going to leave Facebook for a completely different day because that's just like I could do 10,000 videos on Facebook like pages alone. But today I want to focus on Twitter and Instagram. I really was like terrified of Twitter. Like I hated Twitter with a passion. But I've been doing this training with Sandy Krakowski. Um, it's called SOHO, which stands for Small Office Home Office, and it's a social media apprenticeship. We're in our sixth month of it right now. I am paying a pretty steep price for it, but I feel like what I'm paying is like super cheap compared to all of the information that I've learned because what I've learned from her courses and applied to my business has changed absolutely everything. Almost all my clients and coaches now come from social media. So what I'm about to tell you today could literally change your life and your business. So listen up. So Twitter, like I was saying, hated Twitter with a passion, didn't understand what I was supposed to do on it, and I got frustrated because I'm like, how can I only talk in 140 characters? Like, I love to talk. How am I supposed to only say this much? But then I started just like learning um, from Sandy and applying what she was teaching and forcing myself to get on there daily and try it out. So what I do on Twitter, I schedule all my posts in Hootsuite um, from my Facebook like page and my Twitter. So I'm posting 12 times a day, once every hour from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. And you don't have to do that many times. You can post five to six times a day um, at the times that I suggest in the other videos in our training. And um, you want to just constantly be posting stuff on there so that people have a reason to follow you, first of all. Secondly, with Twitter, you want to go and look up, like, fitness pages or anything that's like your target market or your niche, I can never say that word, niche, niche, whatever, that you're interested in. Some of you are into fashion, some of you are into crafts, some of you, I'm trying to think of what else people are into, um, uh, I'm having a brain fart, whatever you're into, running, um, cooking, the Bible, stuff like that, whatever you're into, just search on Twitter, there's a search bar up there. Sorry, my screensaver's coming on. Search up there and find pages that you can go to that, like pages that have large followings. So what I do, like I look up fitness pages and Christian pages. So I'll go on like fitness magazine or self magazine or who else is out there? Um, I can't remember that guy's name right now. Joel Austin, Joyce Meyer. You know, just different things like that. And once you start, like, looking on their pages and stuff, go look at the people. You can actually look at who's following them. You'll begin to find all these other, like, huge pages. Um, and once you start to follow people, Twitter will actually, on the left side, recommend to you, you may want to follow this person, too. So, basically, they're watching, like, what kind of people you're following, and then they recommend other people on the left side for you to follow. So, that's what I do. I go on to, like pages that have huge followings and I go and look at their followers. Excuse me. And this is actually how I met Melissa, who's on the team. Hey Melissa, I met you on Twitter. Don't remember exactly how I met you, but somehow I met you on there. Um, anyways, I go and look at people's followers and I'll go look at their pages and I'll just like find pages of people that I feel like I have something in common with and then compliment them and just say something nice about their page or their picture or whatever. And I usually ask them a question too. And what I do, you definitely don't have to do this. I do 20 exposures a day between Twitter and Instagram. And I write their names down. Well, I don't write them down, but I put them on my business activity tracker in my uh, spreadsheet. I have a tab for exposures where I put the date, the username of the person I'm following, and the network that I'm following on. So that way I can go and follow up with them later on, which that's another thing I do every day too, is I follow up with at least, I do 20 exposures every day. 
and following up with that many people that I have talked to in previous weeks, but you can make it much less. You could do two exposures a day and two follow-ups a day. So that's really how I find people on Twitter. I just go onto other pages and look at their followers and reach out to them and talk to them. It's that easy. Um, and I kind of do the same thing with Instagram. Instagram is kind of, it's a little bit more confusing at first, but once you get the hang of it, it's super easy. So Instagram, I'm going to try to pull it up on my phone and see if I can show you guys what I do. Instagram actually has like a little thing where you can search by hashtags. I don't know if you can see this. Okay, you see this? That's the home button. I don't know what that button is, but it's in between the home button and the camera button. If you click on that, it looks like a little diamond type thingy right there. So, hang on, I actually like had something pulled up already. So it's going to come to this screen that says explore. And then you're going to click, that was my screensaver again, I'm sorry guys, this is like the worst video ever as far as technical difficulties. But there's like a little search bar up here. So if you actually click on that, it's going to say users, and then it's going to say hashtags. So you want to click on hashtags. I wish you could see what mine said. But like things that I've been looking for lately, I've been looking for if it fits your macros. I don't know if you guys have heard of that. But I search for people that are doing that. I will search for people that, like I'll type in like fitness or weight loss or Christian or Proverbs 31. Like that, those are all like for me and my target market because my target market are Christian women. So mine and what I'm searching for is going to be different than what you may search for. But that's what I do. I go in there and I search under hashtags. And then I go to people's profiles and I comment on their pictures and I'll ask them a question. The same thing I do on Twitter. So if it's like a person that lost a bunch of weight, then I might compliment them for their weight loss and say, wow, you look amazing. What a great job. Like, what kind of workouts have you been doing? Some people, like, I'll say the same thing and ask them, like, you look totally great. Like, you could, I'm sure you'll help so many people with your story. Are you a personal trainer now? You know, stuff like that. Or if it's, like, someone that I'm following that I found by looking up, like, hashtags, like, Proverbs 31 or other Christian stuff, I might just, like, find a quote that I love on their page and be like, wow, I just love this quote so much and your page is super inspirational. Just say something nice. And then I do the same thing that I do with Twitter. I put all of this in my business activity tracker, the person's name and the date and the social network that I found them on, and then I follow up. And the way that I get people to talk to me, like the way that I transfer them from Instagram to Facebook or email is once we like talk in a few different comments on their photo, then I'll just say, hey girl, or if it's a guy, whatever, hey dude. You know, I feel like it's easier, <coughs> excuse me, if we talk via email or Facebook, you know, are you on there? Would that be cool with you? And then we exchange emails or Facebook information, and then ta-da, that's when you start forming people. That's, that's how it works. I really hope that, that helped you. I hope that that made sense. And if you have specific questions about this, don't hesitate to ask. Um, oh, and one last thought when it comes to Twitter, or, or I mean Instagram. Make sure that you're posting on Instagram. The main thing is on social media, you have to be consistent, guys. People are following you. People are watching you. Even if you feel like they're not, even if you feel like, gosh, no one likes my pictures, like no one likes my posts, no one's paying attention to what I'm saying. I mean, I've been there before, so I shouldn't say it in that kind of voice, but because it is frustrating, I know. But remember, there are people watching you. People are following you. People are waiting for you to show up every single day. And once you stop being inconsistent, then those people tend to lose their trust in you. Because when they see that you're on there posting every day, and you're going to show up no matter what, and you're going to give them tips, and you're going to encourage them, that's when people will start trusting you. So you have to be consistent. Even if you only post two pictures a day on Instagram, post two pictures a day. If you don't know what to take a picture of, just go look at my page. Mine is Get Fit Jess B, with like B as in boy. I have the most random weird posts on my page. Um, like, I will just take pictures. Like, I'll be walking on the road in Charlotte and be like, oh, that's really pretty. I'm going to take a picture of that. Um, I'll take pictures of my flowers. I take pictures of my meals. I take post-workout pictures, pictures of my cats. Um, if I'm at the store, like, something that I thought was really cool, 
it can really be anything. The point is, is that you want to just give people like an inside peek of your life and what your daily life looks like. So I really hope that that helps you. I'm sorry that this was a long video. As I said, I could make thousands of videos on social media, which I will probably continue to make some more for you guys. But this was Instagram and Twitter. Hope it helped. If you have questions, let me know. Other than that, have a great day. Bye.